We've also had some stronger thunderstorms, and yesterday uh, we actually had a brief tornado touchdown. Really? And so we're going to do a quick beyond the barometer here to kind of show you uh, what we were looking at. So let's start out by taking a look, uh, first of all, at the uh, the setup that we have right now. Notice how these showers and storms are spinning around an area of low pressure in eastern Iowa. A lot of times that gives enough spin where it's possible you could see an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm pop up. In fact, the severe weather outlook for today actually has a marginal or level one risk across northern Illinois and specifically for a, a brief tornado touchdown. Now yesterday, over the last 48 hours, you can see just how few and far between these severe weather reports were. A couple of hail reports in eastern Iowa, but closer to home, we actually had a tornado uh, report near uh, between Belleville and New Glarus yesterday, a very brief tornado touchdown. Uh, National Weather Service surveyed the area. They couldn't even find any damage, but there was visual evidence of that. Um, Carol Santulis, one of our viewers, sent in a couple, uh, sent in a picture of the wall cloud there, not necessarily the tornado, but certainly that looks like a supercell thunderstorm. And so what we look at um, to see whether or not there's a, a severe weather threat is that we look at the upper air soundings. Remember yesterday we talked about the weather in three dimensions. So this is above the ground. So take a look at number one. It's hard to tell in the lower right corner or lower left corner of the picture, but that's the instability. Normally we'd expect those numbers to be like between two and five thousand or in a couple hundreds. Uh, the spin in the atmosphere, not very high either. That's the number two area. But we are watching that area three. What that shows are the winds aloft. So near the ground, the winds are out of the southeast. You start getting up in the atmosphere, the winds are out of the west and southwest. That's the spin that was just enough to get that thunderstorm to spin enough and produce a brief tornado touchdown. But like I was telling people in the newsroom, you know, all tornadoes are not the same. It's like a car accident. You know, a car accident could be like a head-on collision or it could be a little fender bender. This was like a this little fender, a fender bender. bender. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank goodness. Certainly nothing it didn't worry. generate any warning or anything. Was no, just no warnings. I mean, if, if somebody does spot a tornado and it's on the ground or the, or the you know, the uh, conditions are right and we see more spin on the radar, then a warning will be issued, but nothing from it's yesterday. Pretty brief. Yeah. yeah. All right. Never know. That's right. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, okay. Gary.